Hi everyone, I'm Ashley. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to show you how to fix drawers. Drawers are the worst part of flipping furniture in my opinion. I hate fixing them, but in almost every case there's at least one broken drawer out there. And there are so many different types of drawers out there that it can be a little overwhelming and you're going to get better at it with just more experience, but it can be incredible incredibly frustrating when you're trying to fix it. And today I'm going to show you a drawer type and how you can fix it three different ways. So there's three issues going on with each of these drawers here and I will show you how I fixed each one of those issues. So let's get started. The first issue was that it wiggled too much, moving side to side when being pulled out, when it really should just come straight out. To fix that, I use these things called drawer guides, and I used Gorilla Glue to attach them. You can use a nail, but I was finding it really difficult to get the nail into this wooden frame here, so Gorilla Glue is actually incredibly strong, and it will hold these in place, and it was super easy to apply. Now these guides will keep it from wiggling and on track when pulled out. The second issue was the drawers were not gliding smoothly. This is wood gliding on wood and just over time the wood wears down and just makes it harder to pull out. You can use wax or a bar of soap but I saw this gliding tape on Amazon and decided to give it a try and I can tell you that I will not be using a bar of soap anymore. This stuff seems more permanent than a bar of soap that you have to continuously apply. This stuff you just measure, cut with scissors, and apply to those runners. You can also apply it to the runners on the inside of the dresser, but it's not necessary. And it comes in a huge roll, definitely a must have from now on. And finally, the third issue was that the drawers fell out when being pulled open. It's one of the biggest pet peeves of mine and on almost all of the antique dressers this is an issue so I always have these little drawer stoppers on hand they're pretty cheap too to install them you just screw them into the top or the bottom of the drawer opening and that little plastic piece prevents it from falling out when it's opened all the way all right so now that we fixed all three issues look how smooth those drawers slide and they don't fall out whenever you're pulled so if it's going into a kid's room where you know they're yanking back it's not going to fall out on their foot and that gliding tape i will not use um i sometimes use howard's feet and wax i'll sometimes use um a bar of soap to really get those drawers sliding smoothly but this method to me was so easy and it seems more permanent than say a wax type um, application. And the other thing is it wobbles a bit, but it doesn't wobble as much as it was before. It was kind of twisting and turning before. This, those two guides kind of keep it going straight in line where it needs to go in a drawer. So I hope you learned something today. All the products that I used are linked below in the description. And let me know if you have any questions.